If you haven't seen the previous video in this series, follow the link on your screen or click the link in the description or pinned comment below. reading. Also opening text to fool people into thinking this is real cliche. I would suggest this deserves a send off because it was extremely effective at getting people to think this really happened. Found footage films are consistently called snuff films by conspiracy theorists, but this one in particular rivaled even the great Blair Witch Project in believability. Simply not practical to film your life with this kind of camera. Between memory space and battery issues, he's gonna have all kinds of stops and starts. And he'd have to have bought like eight batteries and some big ass memory cards and I mean, this is 2006, too. Impractical does not mean impossible. He obviously was able to film all the way up to his death, so I'm not sure what the sin is even supposed to say. Besides, as you said, it was 2006. This sounds like a lot for us today in 2013, sure, but in 2006, that was the way it was done. Store-bought pizza sauce and store-bought salad, too. Damn, do these people do any cooking? Jeremy thinks just because the sauce is store-bought, you can't cook with it. I suppose Jeremy is growing his own tomatoes and onions for all his sauces. Who buys a ginormous 80-inch slim HD TV and uses it to watch Archie Bunker? I don't know, because they aren't watching it. Dinny time. Did he just say dinny time? Because I am not okay with that. Jeremy is not okay with something in a movie cliche. Hello, Mika. Mika? I know that's how the actor pronounces his name, and that's how the movie pronounces it, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. If this is the name Mika's parents gave him, it's correct. What does this have to do with paranormal activity? Extracurricular with this, and I know I mentioned it before. Could, but no. Katie nixes the idea of this movie containing a lap dance. That's sexist. This coin net product placement lasts entirely too long and is also entirely ineffective since I don't know what they do, nor do I care. I don't know what this is either, so I heavily doubt its product placement. It does remind me of this thing called Bitcoin, though. Some dude told me to invest in that, but it's already shot up to $120. There's no way I'm paying that much for some useless investment that has clearly hit its peak and has no utility. So can you see ahead of like that kind of thing? Like, you know, like knowing the traffic's gonna yeah. be bad? Boyfriend is skeptical when the girlfriend calls a psychic for advice cliche. But is something a cliche if it reflects reality? Women tend to be into crystals, astrology, and things like that, whereas men tend to be more interested in practical activities, things that usually require using the hands. I don't think it's cliche if that's how the world actually works. Most of the activities in here, isn't it? Yeah, but Katie won't let Mika record the really good activity. That's pervert cyst. Dealing with demons is not my area. You cannot run from this. It will follow you. It may lay dormant for years. The psychic says he deals with ghosts, not demons, and then goes on to spout all kinds of expertise about demons. He says he deals with ghosts and not demons, not that he doesn't know anything about demons. Not everyone is like CinemaSins. You know, like how you deal with movies but don't know anything about them. This horrifying demon checks out bedroom door, is satisfied, and then goes back to bed. Or hell. Or the further, to dream of a better tomorrow. The reason the demon does these things is explained in the film. Evil spirits that only exist to cause pain and commit evil for their own amusement. Malevolent evil spirits that only exist to cause pain and commit evil for their own amusement. Do those books also mention anything about dropping keys on the floor in the middle of the night? Now that shit is evil. Yes, in fact, it does, which is why I just showed you the movie stating this demon is doing this for its own entertainment. Sometimes they're really intelligent in the way they do things to freak you out. Sometimes. Just not this time. I guess you're just going to ignore this scene answering your two previous sins, eh? That's very sinful of you. You didn't exactly warn me about this kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure there's not really ever a good time to bring up demon stalking in a relationship, but that's some excellent shaming, dude. I'm sorry, but not telling me you have a murderous demon following you that murdered your mom and stepdad is the same level as not telling me you have herpes. I am shaming your ass. Your demon's worthless. You're worthless. You're nothing. Mika attempts to be the most annoying character in movie history. Two words. Dolores Umbridge. Okay, even if you don't believe in actual demon hauntings, which, honestly, it appears these two do at this point, but whatever. Even if you don't believe, you're gonna hear that noise and just wander immediately downstairs to confront whatever caused it? Why are you speaking to the characters in the film as if they can hear you? What does asking them this question accomplish, and why is it something wrong with paranormal activity? 
Well, before the sure, let's blame the camera for the weird stuff that's happening now. Earlier in the movie, you said you saw the faucets turn on and off, and the lights turned on and off, and you said the f***ing demon whispered in your ear, which was all before the camera. But sure, hearing a really loud noise proves that things are getting worse. But it's still a true statement. She's saying that these loud noises and obvious paranormal activity wasn't happening until the camera. Her point is that Mika is provoking Toby. And I went inside to bring you a blanket because you refused to leave in this catatonic weird state you were in. I don't... Wait, wait, wait. Did, did I talk to you? Dude, don't you have footage of what happened after Katie walked downstairs? You took the damn camera down there. You're clearly being dishonest here. In the scene that you are currently showing, Mika is showing Katie the footage of her sleepwalking. What do you think Katie is looking at here? Mika's penis? Well, thanks for being forthright, demon, but I didn't ask you any questions. You didn't, but Mika did. How does a Ouija board on fire not burn down the wooden table below it, and thus the entire house? Probably because this is a supernatural fire caused by the demon to write something on this board, meaning he also put it out? So what, the demon's been living in the attic all this time? Keeping a picture of Kid Katie lying around? Is this a demon or an uncle that has to live a thousand yards from elementary schools? First of all, what's the difference? Second, this picture was transferred here by Martine when she performed a pseudo-exorcism in Paranormal Activity 2 that caused Katie to suffer this haunting. I know horror movie people are always stupid, but this is found footage. This is a real guy, right? Continually heading immediately straight for the demon the first chance he gets. Mika has been playing with fire this entire movie, trying to get the entity to communicate via EVP, recording the haunting and even taunting it explicitly. This is totally in character for him. After everything you've been through, you still turn all the lights off at night? Even if you're resigned to death by demon, don't you at least want to see the f coming? Two things. First, see that sh coming? You're aware this thing is invisible, right? And second, what the heck do lights do besides keep you up at night? You think Toby is afraid of lights? The same Toby that did this? <laughs> Got him. Finally! Jeremy sends something that he likes. Couldn't the demon possessed Katie have killed Mika and thrown him into the camera without going all the way downstairs, screaming, then killing him, then bringing him all the way back upstairs? I mean, sure, that could have happened, but hey, at least they didn't have this completely unrelated dude downstairs with them filming Katie killing Mika or something. <laughs> now that would have actually been sinful.